The image element has undergone a great upgrade, which you're definitely going to use and love at some point when you are creating your website, and that is bringing masking to images. And to quickly explain to you what that is, here I have the original image on the left. I've applied a mask, so no rounded corners and all that kind of jazz. Purely a mask, it gives me a nice circle. And then you also have the option to bring in your own masks, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's select the image, go to the image options, and then you will see here from the options menu, you have mask all the way to the right. From your shape, you can choose a number of presets, and here you have that circle that you see here on the right. When I select it though, it doesn't look anything like that, and that is controlled here by the size. Currently it's set to fill. It's going to stretch all the way to the width of the container. If I go in here and I change the size of the container, you will see it will keep stretching to the width of it. How I get it to be a full circle is by going to that size and select fit. The position will determine where it is going to be in terms of the box of the image element. So if I put it here on center left, you will see it shifts to the left and center right. And depending then on how that box looks, you're going to have various ways of how it will work. Let's put it back on center, center, and then I will choose repeat from the repeat section. Drag the image, and then you can see as I extend it, you will also have the repeat at the top and the bottom. Let's have a look at the other shapes that we have here. Currently, I put this one on the circle. We have something like a diamond, a little bit of a seal, a different one with rounded corners. And as you scroll down, you will see there are quite a number to choose from that will give you something that you will find in there very useful for your design. If not, you go to custom. And the moment you select custom, you're going to see it says image, and then that little tip there, upload any image, PNG or SVG. And I already have an PNG there, which is this little cat. Make sure it's in PNG or SVG format, and I'll select it, and boom, voila, we got that little cat as our shape cut out for the image. This opens a lot of possibilities, like if you want to bring in a logo for your company, then you can bring it in and overlay that mask it with the image and a nice little effect that you have there. Definitely go try this one out. I see a lot of application for this. We are very happy that we can add this to the image element within Brizzy. To keep up to date on all these updates, more news, tips and anything else, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at brizzy.io.